Hello everyone, this is Amanda with the LiveCoin Q&A. I recently went through a 10 pound bag of Mexican coins. And these were more modern Mexican coins. There wasn't silver in the bag or anything. Just some modern ones because I wanted to look for some errors and varieties. And I actually ended up finding quite a few things. So I wanted to make a short video about it. The first coin is a 1939 one centavo. As you can see, this coin has a little bit of an improper alloy mixture. There is a very fine wood grain appearance to the reverse and some larger streaks of wood grain on the obverse. Also, for those of you who might not be very familiar with the Mexican coins I am featuring in this video, the side of the coins that feature the eagle are the obverse sides of the coin and the other side is the reverse. Compared to the coins we have here in the US, one would more than likely think it should be the other way around, but I just wanted to point that out. The second coin is another one centavo, but this one is dated 1942. As you can see, this one also has an improper alloy mixture. There are some more minor streaks of wood grain on the obverse, and then some larger streaks on the reverse. Next up is a 1958 5 centavos. This one has a reverse lamination that is still partially retained on the coin. It looks like a couple small pieces have flaked off or fallen off, but a large majority of this lamination peel is still attached to the coin. To follow that one, we have another 1958 5 centavos with a reverse lamination. Unlike the other example, this lamination has completely peeled off and none of it is still attached to the coin. The last five centavos we're going to take a look at is dated 1974. Much like the last one, this one also has a lamination that is peeled off completely. Moving on to a 1983 50 centavos, which shows some clashing on the reverse. The guy on the reverse of this coin is Pakal the Great, and he is wearing what I guess could be described as a decorative headdress. Near the top of this headdress, you'll see that I put an arrow on the image, and that is the area of open field where I noticed some clashing. Here is a close-up photo of the clashing, and this clashing appears to be part of the cactus that the eagle sits on on the obverse of the coin. This 1984 1 peso also has a die clash, but this one is visible on the obverse. The guy on the reverse of this coin is Jose Morelos, and he is wearing a general's uniform. While we're looking at this image, take note of the decorative design that's on his shirt collar. Here is a close-up photo of the clashing that is visible in the open field underneath the eagle's beak. This appears to be part of the design of the decorative collar that I mentioned. And I ended up finding two of these 1984 1 pesos, and they both have identical clashing. Next up is another 1 peso, but this one is dated 1985. This one also has a die clash on the obverse. This clashing is identical to what I found on the 1984s, and I ended up finding three of these clashes on a 1985 one peso. To keep this theme going, we also have a 1986 one peso, and just like the last two one pesos, this one has a die clash in the exact same area, and I ended up finding three of these, dated 1986, that all have this same die clash. The last one peso we have is a 1987, and surprise, surprise, this one also has a die clash on the obverse in the exact same place. I ended up finding three of these that were dated 1987, all with the same identical die clash. This next coin has quite a lot going on with it, 
and I don't think I'm going to attempt to describe what possibly might be going on with the design on this coin's reverse and I'm just gonna let you all use your imagination. This is a 1982 50 pesos and this one has clashing visible on the obverse. The areas of clashing are seen in the open field between the eagle's breast and the snake that it's holding in its mouth. There is also clashing visible in the field between the eagle's wings and its tail feathers. The final coin that I pulled out is a 1985 100 pesos and this one has a very nice doubled die obverse. As you can see there is a very nice and strong spread and this spread gradually gets lighter as we go clockwise looking at Estados Unidos Mexicanos. That was all the images I had prepared for this video and even though it wasn't very educational I hope you still enjoyed it. I know a majority of our content is based around US coinage so I thought it would be nice to throw in some coins from a different country for a little diversity. And if you have some piles of world coins laying around, make sure to check them for errors and varieties because you never know what you might find. As always, if you have a question about a coin or a piece of paper currency, feel free to send an email to info at livecoinqa.com. Make sure to include your question and your clear photos and we will be happy to help you with your question. And thank you for watching.